Hmm. Hello everybody and welcome back. So as the video is titled, these are my thoughts about Ukraine and the whole Ukraine situation with Russia invading and whatnot. And my first thought is that I really don't want to make this video because uh, I don't feel like I have any information to bring you. I'm getting all my information from second, third, and worse hand news sources, so um, obviously I'm not bringing you any kind of uh, news. Uh, however, this does seem to be dominating the, oh, the, the thoughts and conversations of a lot of people around me, so it, it seems like it's too big of an event to just let it pass without making some kind of note of it. So here we go. Um, my first, okay, my next thought is, uh, you know, don't panic. It's pretty good advice for just about any situation. Um, and a nod to Douglas Adams humor. Uh, but anyway, I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty encouraged. I haven't seen too many people who are, uh, what I would say would be panicking. Um, there's a lot of concern, uh, mostly, oh, mo mostly a trepidation over where this might lead. Uh, obviously there is concern for the people of Ukraine who are caught in the middle of this. Um, but I have to say on the whole, I'm, I'm very encouraged that, uh, I'm not seeing a lot of the typical, uh, panic buying or, other, oh, I don't know, irrational decision making on the part of people that typically makes a, you know, one disaster snowball into a greater, uh, a greater disaster than it needed to be for people who were otherwise totally unaffected by the direct, or unaffected directly by the disaster itself. Okay. Um, having said that, I mentioned that I really, uh, don't have much of any kind of news for you. Um, I do have one piece, uh, one, one thought that might affect how you view the, every other bit of information that you get, and that is, at this point, I think we would do well to assume that everything we see is propaganda. Well, I know, that's, that's kind of... That's actually another thing that's really good, uh, just basic advice for watching the news. Assume everything's propaganda does not mean that it's not true, okay? Um, yes, propaganda can be outright lies, but it can also be uh, selectively recorded or edited truth that is given to you for a very specific purpose of making you think one way or another or, you know, uh, feel something one way or another. So, just because one side might be full of bad guys doesn't mean that the other side is not also. Uh, might be another way to look at that. Uh, and oftentimes in war, there's typically not a, uh, a good guy side. You'll find some good guys here and there, sometimes on both sides. Um, World War One, in particular is an interesting study in that, but I digress. Um, and the painful truth is, uh, unless you want to get up and, and just go fly over there, uh, there's, there's not a whole lot we can do. Not a lot I can do, not a lot uh, you can do, I suppose, unless you just, you know, through the magic of the internet, happen to be watching while you're over there. I, there is something you can do. Um, most of the world... Uh, we really can't do much of anything, and even what we could do uh, as far as, oh, I don't know, encouraging uh, politicians to do this or that with the, the country as a whole, um, what would actually be helpful is not always clear, and uh, frankly, the implementation of that is not really up to us, and the devil's in the details of that sort of thing. Um, about all I want to say on that before I get bogged down in it. Uh, what you can do, though, what you really should be doing is the stuff that you should already have been doing. Uh, you know, 
all the stuff I talk about, usually where you, you want to build yourself up, um, build up your family, build up the people around you, uh, build strong communities, and then teach that and talk about that and, and share that in, in like a open source kind of way where we encourage other people of other communities to build themselves and their families and their communities and try to make people stronger and better able to weather this kind of event and also better able to just live their lives in general. Um, I know that's really, really generic and probably not what you wanted. And uh, I think that's okay because I think a lot of this stuff that we see, these big events... Um, can be a distraction from what we should be doing. Now, that's not to say that uh, we shouldn't be paying attention on some level, but let's be careful to to not obsess over it, if, uh, if that makes any sense. Oh, on that note, on that note, um, it has been. It has been very interesting to watch the way that Ukraine has handled this. And one of the things that they did was they, for what I understand right now, they basically handed out a whole bunch of rifles, a bunch of AKs, a bunch of ammo, said, hey, Ukrainian civilians, I know we only gave you a few, you know, a couple weeks of training at best, but now go fight the Russians. <laughs> okay. Um... Which is, is, that's kind of, man, what a, that's kind of a scary prospect to think that that could happen to people. Uh, hey, yes, we have this, this military, this, this army, this, you know, Air Force, all that, but now we need you, Joe Average, off the street. Go fight the Russians. <laughs> but that's what they're looking at. Um, it's just sobering for me to think, like, my my Marine Corps training, you know, uh, basic training, uh, recruit training, they call it in the Marine Corps, that was three months, of which two weeks was learning to shoot a rifle from a static position to a static target called the known distance range. So I, not only is the target not moving, it's staying up there as long as, uh, you know, not for as long as I want, but for a good long time, and I know how far away it is, so I can actually dial in the uh, the, the settings on my rifle sights. That's not even counting the, you know, later on Marine combat training where they teach you all the shoot, move, communicate, short-range course, military operations on urban terrain. These guys are getting none of that, or at least a very, very abbreviated version of it. What is interesting is that they seem to actually be somewhat effective. Um, I, you know, man, my, my hat's off to them because, again, that is, that is a, an act of uh, defiance and desperation. And they, they seem to be doing way better than anyone thought they could actually do. So, again, well done. Well done, people. Um, now, I mentioned they're doing better than anyone thought they would do. I would say that definitely includes Russia, and they seem to be doing, the Russians, not so well, and they, they seem to have either grossly underestimated the Ukrainians, or grossly overestimated their own capabilities, or, or perhaps both, I, I don't know. At least that's what it looks like from the reports I'm seeing. Um, the interesting thing about that is that this is going to be fresh in the minds of whoever is going to be involved in whatever happens after this. One of the big concerns is that this could could be like this thing that kicks off World War III, where, okay, well, Russia's doing this, and now China wants to do that. Um, you know, Taiwan, Hong Kong, make moves on those places. I don't know if that's going to happen. I have no idea. In fact, it might actually be determined by 
what happens in Ukraine. Uh, it's possible if the Ukrainians mount a successful defense, then um, China might look at that and go, hmm, okay, I don't want to do that. That didn't work so well. I don't know. Um, another thought that uh, that I had is that, uh, well, how to phrase this, shenanigans, okay? Anytime anything big happens, there's a whole bunch of people in all these uh, political offices in, uh, you know, around the world, really, not just here in the U.S., but anybody who's anybody in the political world has a list of stuff that they want to do that they know they can't do with people watching. Now, I am not at all suggesting that this was caused so that they could get cover for whatever they want to do. I think that's a bit ridiculous, and it gives them... It credits them with way too much power, uh, way more power than they actually have. I do, however, think that these people know there's always another crisis just around the corner. And if they just kind of hold on to this stuff, kind of keep it ready to go, they can just wait for a crisis to pop up, and as soon as it does, while everybody's looking over there, they're moving stuff over here. So, I can just about guarantee you, no matter what country you're in, no matter uh, where you are, take a look, and I'll bet you find somebody pulling some kind of shenanigans, alright? Uh, we'll probably won't find out what they all are until after this is all blown over. Um, but it's probably happening, just because... That's how the world works. All right. Um, and again, what you know, what can you do about it? Yeah, you know, build yourself, build your family, build your community, take care of each other. Okay. That's really why I want to do this whole thing or this whole channel is I want to encourage people. Y'all take care of each other. All right. Till then, uh, till next time. I'll see you around.